evening. Thank you for joining us. Tonight, the emotional interview with the family of the Tennessee teacher on the run, suspected of kidnapping an underage student. Just months ago, his wife and two daughters thought they had an ideal family life. That illusion has been shattered, and now they're pleading with him to come home and turn himself in. I go from feeling really so hurt I can't even function. It's very selfish of him to have done this to us. To Jill Cummings, it was complete betrayal. Her husband, 50-year-old Tad Cummings, is accused of kidnapping his student, 15-year-old Elizabeth Thomas, and having an inappropriate relationship with her. I'm mad part of the time. And then sometimes I have this peace that comes from God. And I do love him, but I don't trust him anymore. He's totally betrayed me. He's been on the run from police for the last month. They were last seen shopping at this Oklahoma Walmart two days after they disappeared. No matter where you are, Daddy, no matter what you've done, we just want you to come home. We miss you so much. Ted Cummins' wife, Jill, and his two daughters, Ashley and Erica, are speaking out for the first time exclusively to ABC News in an interview with my colleague, Eva Pilgrim. There's two sides. The world's heard her side of it, but there's always somebody on the other side of that Amber Alert. Yeah. So, I mean, the Amber Alert is... To us, it's kind of for both of them. I mean, it's yeah, just, for sure. you know, he's a missing person just as much, just as, as, much as she is. He's very important to a lot of people. When you realize that your husband of 30 plus years kidnapped a 15 year old. I, I think she went by her own choice, but I don't think she was old enough to make that choice. I don't think he forcefully took her. She was manipulated by him. Jill says she thought she had a storybook 30-year marriage. But just a few months ago, police say Tad was secretly searching age of consent and how to marry a teen online. What was your marriage like? We were together all the time. We'd go to work and come home and eat together. We would do things with our family. We would um, go to church, go shopping. That is until one day last month when Jill came home to find a note left by her husband. Tad, this is not you. She called the police. I found out that she was also missing, and that was when I knew. That was the moment that I knew. When you heard that she was missing, why did you immediately think they were together? Because it made sense then, for the first time. Did you realize all of a sudden that he had been lying about everything, or? At that moment, then I, I knew that it was all a lie. Jill says she thought Tad was mentoring 15-year-old Elizabeth. She had been spending time at their home prior to their disappearance. You said you thought he was helping Elizabeth. Right. What do you mean by that? She would come to him with her problems about her past. She always asked him why do bad things happen to good people. And he was trying to help her to work through those feelings and those problems. I think he was mentoring her and maybe just one bad decision started him off on a path he didn't mean to go on. He looked at Beth like a third daughter. Yes. Hard to believe now. Why? That's just the way we felt. I mean, somebody that we were helping, you know. His family painting a picture of a devoted Christian father who now seems to have been living a double life, allegedly infatuated with his teenage student. He was always happy. Was he really involved in y'all's lives? Yeah. We had a very close family, very happy upbringing. Everything was always perfect. We had a wonderful, perfect family. What they said, I thought, was not painting him into a dark place or a dark corner trying to be very positive and open. I mean, all of those things, I think, are exactly the right things to try to hook him to say, look, you need to come back. The first signs of trouble happened months earlier. School officials began investigating the health science teacher after another student claimed to see them kissing in his classroom. Cummins had denied any wrongdoing, but was later suspended. I didn't see this coming at all. You send your kids to school, you, you know, you trust they're gonna be all right there. He is a predator and she does not have any will of her own as we understand it. Uh, she is under his spell and uh, she's being controlled by him. Ashley and Erica last saw their father the weekend before he went on the run, allegedly taking 15-year-old Elizabeth with him. He was at my house Saturday night before they left. They came over to see our newborn um, and they, we just hung out on the couch and talked and just a normal night together. I work midnight so he had watched my son with my mom the day before. His former student, Elizabeth Thomas, was seen being dropped off early the morning of March 13th at a restaurant in Columbia, Tennessee. 
But before she left, her sister says Elizabeth woke her up with a warning. She said, you know, if I'm not back by six, you need to come find me and call the cops. A short time later, this security footage showing Cummins filling up his SUV at a nearby gas station. Police say just days earlier, he took out a $4,500 cash loan. Sources also telling ABC News that Cummins researched camping in SUVs and even watched a TV show about living off the grid. Hours after that gas station surveillance footage from Monday, Elizabeth Thomas is declared missing. The last clue, a cell phone ping from Decatur, Alabama over 80 miles away. Days after the disappearance, the pair turn up on this surveillance video at a Walmart in Oklahoma City. The problem with that video is that law enforcement didn't even know about that video to maybe two weeks after it was captured. So two weeks cold on a camera shot like that, it really puts you behind. Because then where do you go from there? You're in the middle of Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, right in the middle of an interstate system that goes virtually all four directions. But the video does reveal small changes to their appearance. Elizabeth's hair, dark and red. Cummins' gray facial hair, now brown. Investigators say the pair bought food in the store, paying with cash. Why do they walk into a Walmart of all places? I mean, the average person knows that Walmart's got some of the better camera systems in the country. While authorities say they don't know where Cummins was planning to go, they do say he packed warm weather clothes, shorts and t-shirts for the trip. And after a month on the run, he likely will need a refill on his blood pressure medication. More than likely that if he goes into a pharmacy or a drugstore, it's going into that location that might get him caught. The former teacher, now on Tennessee's top 10 most wanted list. What would you say to her family? Oh, I'm so sorry to her family. I know they've got to be hurting and scared. And I'm just, I wish I could fix it. The Cummins family is still hoping he will return. I hope that he realizes that we're still here and that it makes him realize that if he comes home that he's not coming home to nothing mm -hmm. and that maybe it'll make him decide to turn himself in. You just want him to know you guys are still here? Yes, mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah.